The pandemic has been tough on many businesses, but it's been a boon for others. As we spend more and more time at home, you've probably thought, as I've thought, why not get a really comfortable night's sleep? It seems that Canadians, many of them are thinking the same way, at least in the just uh, past quarter for Sleep Country. Quite a surge in sales. Let's bring in CEO Dave Friesma of uh, Sleep Country Canada for a little uh, color. What, what did you actually see in the quarter through the cold winter months? It seems like a lot of people, was it mattresses in particular? No, we saw growth in both mattresses and accessories. Uh, our accessories were probably a little bit more affected during the Boxing Week, uh, which is a big cash and carry week for us, which we had 65% of our stores closed. But we saw growth in both categories. Um, and uh, we also saw we saw growth um, in our stores, but we saw growth online as well. So it was, it was very across the board. Yeah, because when I took a look through your results and the stock up more than 9% right now, you were facing that challenge of because of lockdown orders in various uh, jurisdictions across Canada that you simply didn't have stores open. So e-commerce had to play a role. What's the, I always thought of a mattress as that kind of thing that before you buy it, because it's expensive, it's a big purchase, you keep it for a while, you want to sort of lie on it, you know, uh, experience the, the merchandise and the experience. So how do you uh, blend e-commerce in with that experience? Well, the most important thing for us is that we, we're where the customer wants us to be when they want us to be there. So, um, you know, just if you look back at Q3, all of our stores were open and we were in the middle of a pandemic. And the breakout of our business was 18% was online, but 82% of the people still wanted to go to the store in the middle of a pandemic. In Q4, we were 20.1% of our sales were online. Uh, and that was probably driven a little higher because our stores were closed. But again, it, it also depends on the age of the person as to how much they feel they need to go to the store. It depends on why they're buying a mattress. For instance, if they're if it's for a spare room or or for their cottage, it may not be as um, as imperative. I, I'm thinking too about the housing boom that we've seen as well, because there are, as you said, the the reason why you're buying a mattress and so moving from one home to another. Maybe you've got an extra bedroom. Maybe you think this is the opportunity to get rid of the old one and bring in a new one. Do you think the strength we're seeing in Canadian housing is feeding into uh, the strength in your sales at all? Yeah, I, I think it's bull. I think, yes, there's no way that a strong housing market doesn't help us because when you think about moving, it is a trigger to buy a mattress, just like it's a trigger to buy other things. Having said that, though, I still think that people are focusing more on health now than ever before, and they're focusing on their house even if they're not moving. And I think both of those benefit us because people are becoming more and more aware of how important a good night's sleep is in, in relationship to your health and your wellness and your well-being. Now, this competition isn't new for you, but the people before the pandemic who were already selling mattresses online uh, and they come sort of compressed into those boxes, people were buying them, of course, not without having tested the merchandise and, the, and, they, were, and they were challenging your business. How, how has that challenge played out during the pandemic as you try to shift, I guess, the, the consumer's mindset about Sleep Canada saying, hey, we're in that game as well? Well, we're not only in that game, we're the largest in that game. Uh, ND, uh, we have every reason to believe, is the largest online mattress retailer in Canada, and ND's part of our family. Uh, Sleep Country and Dormy Vu also have very big online presences. I would say that if you separated the two of us, we would be one and two or one and three in the country. Uh, so we are an online player. I think that's one of the things, and I mentioned this last time around, I think that's one of the things that's frustrated us for a while, is that people continue to see, investors continue to see us as an a bricks and mortar retailer, and we aren't that anymore. We are, but we're so much more with our online presence as well as our partnerships and our uh, with Walmart and so on and so forth. We are truly where the customer needs us to be when they want us to be there. When we get positive headlines about the reopening of the economy, obviously we're behind the Americans to a certain degree, uh, but it does cause investors, as I take a look at the markets, to, to change their mindset about what companies they love during the pandemic, what companies they want to own out of the pandemic. In terms of your business, how do you see things progressing post-pandemic when things get a little bit more normal? Well, again, I think the, the ecosystem that we've built over the last couple of years with a strong online presence, a strong store presence, partnerships, new products. You know, we rolled out our, our uh, partnership with Purple uh, earlier, uh, just uh, in, uh, earlier, there, um, sorry, in Q4. And, uh, and all of those make us very comfortable that we will be able to over index whatever the uh, market is. And so we're feeling very comfortable about our future. Obviously, if we go into, uh, if the economy Economy were to go into a recession or anything like that, we you know that would affect us like any, but we, any companies. But we feel that we would be able to over-index within that because of all of our depth.
All right. As always, thanks for joining us, and I look forward to speaking next quarter. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you, David Friesman, is the CEO of Sleep Country Canada.